The film begins by depicting a future where humanity faces a food crisis, forcing people to hunt space monsters for consumption. One day, in outer space, two creatures known as Tin Long are seen floating. Suddenly, a weapon is fired at the two creatures, revealed to come from a survivor trying to capture the monsters. The attack continues with a spaceship captain, equipped with a robotic suit, joining the assault. Unfortunately, his efforts are in vain, as Tin Long crashes into the ship, causing it to explode and killing all the crew on board. A few years later, on Earth, in a restaurant, a man named Ahab is seen eating with Richard Bentley, discussing a map that details the disappearance of a survivor after battling two monsters years ago. Because of this, Ahab promises a large sum of money to Richard if he succeeds in capturing Tin Long. At the same time, one of Ahab's men informs him that an ASE agent has been monitoring their movements. This leads Ahab to suspect that Richard has set them up and is working with the police. As a result, Ahab immediately attacks him. Unexpectedly, Richard is skilled in combat and manages to insert a parasite into Ahab's nose before escaping with the map. The scene then shifts to two years later aboard Richard's ship, where he and his younger brother named Owen are assembling a crew, including a newcomer named Lynn Navarro, to work on their spaceship called Essex. It turns out Richard is gathering the crew because they aim to hunt monsters for consumption or sale. After departing at light speed, Owen begins introducing Lynn to the rest of the crew, starting with the ship's cook, Batali, their pilot, Ragsland, who is playing cards with Hawthorne. Another crew member, Harpo, who is Batali's lover, is also introduced. Following the introductions, Lynn returns to her room to contact her colleague at the base, who provides more information about the other crew members so Lynn can familiarize herself with them. Upon arriving at a cluster of space tools, Owen and Hawthorne, wearing robotic suits, exit the ship while carrying a box. After that, they use a kind of crystal to lure creatures or monsters called clicker into the box, which resemble crabs. During this process, a large clicker refuses to enter the box, prompting Owen to chase after it. At the same time, a sudden flash of white light appears, causing Owen to lose consciousness. As a result, the crew brings Owen back to the ship, where he eventually regains consciousness and sees a flying entity above him, so he quickly tags the creature using a tracking device. After a while, the creature reappears near the ship, but then vanishes into another flash of white light. Shortly after, the crew manages to pull Owen back onto the ship. After that, they decide to follow the monster's trail, but unfortunately, their escape system fails. After that incident, the crew of the Essex enjoys a meal prepared by the chef, Batali. During the meal, Lynn reveals that, six months earlier, a company called Amber Corp intercepted a transmission from outside the Hyperion star system. Unexpectedly, the transmission revealed the existence of a Ten Long that was five times larger than the one they had just seen. Because of this, Lin suggests that they capture the Ten Long, as its blood and mucus have a high market value due to their extraordinary benefits, such as its mucus's ability to quickly heal wounds and its blood's potential for processing into valuable substances. However, Richard immediately rejects the idea deciding to return to Earth since the clicker they previously captured is also highly valuable. Later, while the others are resting, Lynn sneaks into the command center and sends a signal revealing the location of their ship to nearby vessels. At the same time, Richard is watching an old recording of his father, who was killed in space years ago. It turns out that his father was the spaceship captain seen in the opening sequence who died with the attacks of Ten Long. Soon after, the ship's alarm suddenly goes off signaling the arrival of a group of space pirates, commonly referred to as boomers. With danger approaching, the crew quickly forms a defensive stance, instructing the women to hide, except for Lynn, who chooses to fight alongside the crew. When the boomers board the ship, the captain tries to negotiate with Richard, but his attention quickly shifts to Lynn. The captain then decides to search her and discovers a badge, which he throws at Richard, revealing that Lynn is an undercover agent from ASE. Shortly afterward, the Boomers steal all of the crew's provisions and their capture clicker. Not only that, but they also plant a tracking device on Richard's ship before leaving. Once Lynn's identity as an agent is exposed, 
Richard becomes furious and orders the other crew members to restrain her before locking her up in a cell. Afterward, the crew gathers to discuss their next steps. At that point, Richard offers two options, return to Earth empty-handed or search for Tin Long as Lin had suggested. Given everything that has happened, hunting Tin Long seems more advantageous, so they decide to pursue the creature. Soon after, Owen goes to see Lin to ask why she secretly joined their crew. Lin finally explains that she has been tracking Tin Long and that their ship is the only one that has consistently hunted the creature. It's at this moment that Owen realizes that his brother Richard has been searching for the creature that killed their father all along, prompting him to confront Richard about it. Richard eventually admits that he has indeed been intending to find Tin Long, despite the extreme danger. At the same time, liquid from Tin Long suddenly hits their ship. Knowing that the liquid is extremely valuable, Owen, Harpo, and Hawthorne immediately suit up in their robotic gear to collect it. Unexpectedly, the boomers who had previously left return to interfere. Not wanting their prize to be taken again, Richard and the crew attempt to fend off the boomers, leading to a shootout between the Essex and the boomers. Amidst the chaos, Harpo tries to hold on, hoping to capture more clicker. However, as the enemy assault intensifies, Richard orders Harpo and the others to retreat before they activate the emergency escape device. After successfully escaping the boomers, Harpo angrily confronts Richard for nearly abandoning him. However, Richard quickly retorts that Harpo disobeyed orders, which could have endangered the rest of the crew. Meanwhile, Stub Niski, the ship's mechanic, is trying to clean the engines covered in slime. But during the process, the slime suddenly releases tiny, insect-like creatures that crawl onto his hand before burrowing into his skin, causing him to scream in pain. The intense pain leads Stub Niski to sit in the bathroom, scrubbing his skin with soap. At that moment, he realizes that the tiny insects are moving beneath his skin. After several hours, Stub Niski begins to lose his sanity as the insects start eating away at his brain. Meanwhile, Lynn manages to unlock her door after tampering with it for hours. Unfortunately, Harpo catches her in the act and stops her. As the two argue, Stub Niski suddenly appears, startling them. Taking advantage of the situation, Harpo hits Lynn on the head, knocking her unconscious. A little later, Harpo and Batali are seen discussing her pregnancy, as she is now three months along. Knowing this, Harpo goes to see Richard to persuade him to return to Earth for the safety of their child. Harpo also sabotages the oxygen system and tells Richard that Lynn was responsible. As a result, they lock her up in the storage room again. Richard then returns to the control room and asks Ragsland what she has found. At that moment, Ragsland points out a destroyed spaceship floating in space, and they assume it was also searching for Ten Long. Meanwhile, one of the giant clicker has escaped its containment and tries to attack Lin. Fortunately, Richard hears her screams and rushes to save her. They both flee to an airtight chamber, where he drops a heavy object on top of the clicker. After the incident, Owen tells Richard not to lock Lin up again. This enrages Richard, leading to an argument between the brothers, even touching on their father's death. At that moment, Owen accuses their father of abandoning them while their mother was ill, while Richard defends their father, accusing Owen of not understanding him. Following the quarrel, Owen sends a transmission to the base requesting assistance, but the ship suddenly shakes as Ten Long appears and starts attacking the Essex. With no other option, Owen quickly suits up and exits the ship. In a panic, Richard orders the crew to fire at Ten Long, but Lin intentionally shuts down the system. As a result, Tin Long devours Owen alive before disappearing once more into a flash of light. Naturally, this devastates Richard, who is then comforted by Hawthorne. Given the dire situation, Harpo urges Ragsland to fly the ship back to Earth. However, she reveals that Richard won't return home until he avenges the deaths of both his father and younger brother by killing Tin Long. A moment later, Ragsland notices that their oxygen levels are running dangerously low, prompting Richard to agree to return to Earth, with Stub Niski temporarily tasked with fixing the issue. However, they soon realize that Stub Niski has disappeared, leading them to search for him. Eventually, they discover parasites on the floor, indicating that Stub Niski has been infected. 
While the others continue searching for Stubnitsky, Richard goes to confront Tin Long, which reappears. Fortunately, Richard and Ragsland manage to evade Tin Long's furious attack, piloting the ship to a safer location, away from the rampaging monster. Once the situation calms down, Ragsland heads to the bathroom, but she is suddenly stabbed by Stubnitsky, who has now completely lost his mind. Simultaneously, Tin Long returns, prompting Richard to recklessly leave the ship in an attempt to distract the monster, while Hawthorne stays behind to launch an attack on Tin Long. Soon after, Stubnitsky has been roaming the ship and finds Batali with the intent to attack her. Fortunately, Lin arrives just in time and decapitates him. In the control room, Hawthorne sees that Richard is in grave danger. With no other option, he decides to exit the ship to assist him, but is immediately ambushed by Harpo, who wants to take control of the ship and return to Earth. The two engage in a fierce duel until Hawthorne unsheathes a spear from his robotic suit and fatally stabs Harpo. Meanwhile, Richard engages in a fierce battle with Tan Long, but his efforts are not strong enough, and he is ultimately swallowed alive by the monster. Not stopping there, Tan Long also destroys the ship, leaving Hawthorne as the sole survivor of the attack. Unbeknownst to Hawthorne, Lin also survives by entering a protective capsule, which is later engulfed by the flash of white light. A few days later, a spaceship arrives and spots the white light, which ejects the capsule containing Lin, who is still alive. Thus, she becomes the only surviving crew member. The film ends. Moral lesson from the story, if you're ever stuck hunting space monsters, remember, sometimes the real enemy is the guy sabotaging your oxygen tank, not the giant alien crab. And always double check who's in charge of the map before inserting a parasite into someone's nose.